Good day, dear students. Thank you very much for joining me in today's session. My name is Hamid Askar, and on behalf of Institute of Freelancing and uh, Facebook and YouTube followers, approximately 75,000 right now. And on behalf of everyone, I welcome you all in today's session. Uh, we have been discussing the creative things uh, using Adobe Illustrator, and today is yet another uh, an exciting class that we are going to start in which we are going to create some of the things which are uh, using illustrations, using Illustrator, we have been creating different NFTs that non-fungible tokens and some of the graphics elements for mobile gaming as well as for the comic illustrations. So without wasting time, let's proceed to Adobe Illustrator and let me show you first uh, within a couple of minutes, I have already created something. First, let me show you that what exactly we are going to create, and then I'll give you the complete explanation step by step process that how can you create these type of NFTs, other graphics, or the basic creative elements using your own mindset. So let's jump in from here to Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so this is something I have just created in uh, Adobe Illustrator. The version which I'm using is CC 2020. Let's proceed to from the help. You can get about Illustrator and you can find out that what exactly is the version which I'm using. And by the way, you can create these type of comics characters using any version of Adobe Illustrator. And let me tell you, my dear students, this is very, very easy to develop these type of characters, these type of comics. And by the way, uh, I'll, uh, I have already uh, gave, gave you a couple of lessons how to uh, come up with these type of creative things. There, there is a lot which we are already developed and in future we are going to develop. There are so many plenty of things which are upcoming right now. So how can you simply create that type of illustrations, that type, type of creative work? Very simple, using the same geometric shapes, which we have already discussed in Adobe Photoshop. Uh, they are the, that belongs to Adobe Illustrator family. And uh, we have all, more or less, we have developed the same thing in PowerPoint also, uh, using the basic shapes. So uh, today we are going to uh, discuss, today we are going to develop the same kind of thing again in Adobe Illustrator. And let's start from the basic this shape first and step by step that how can you create so let me select the rectangle first and that is the rectangle we have to create first that's the uh, gray light gray so simply you have to draw this type of shape let me select the appropriate color first either double click here and choose or let's proceed here and choose from this palette. Let me say, I'm going to select this one, a little bit lighter version. Okay, now in the latest versions of Adobe Illustrator, they usually give, give you the options of uh, uh, make this corner into a curve shape. So simply, if you do not select any specific point, simply click here, The all the uh, corners will be uh, truncated all the corners will be uh, in this shape uh, but uh, the other sh other way could be that let me undo this and let me click on this single one corner and uh, this is something you can do very simply in this way and instead of this let me select click on this corner and then with the help of shift key let me click on this corner now we have two corners available and in two corners ko hum select karne ke baad what we can do is ke hum isko dono ko equally hum karenge to this shape right so that is how we are going to create this shape and uh, that's the very simple way of uh, coming up with this uh, type of thing so then the next shape is this circle half and then this circle and then probably this circle so we have to select now first instead of rectangle let me select the circle so circle can start from either from this point 
and with the help of shift plus alt key i'm going to create this circle so that is our center point okay and then we proceed to there are a number of things which we have to do first we have to convert this circle into four corners shape and i just want this quarter uh, should be available and the remaining should be eliminated so there are multiple options there are so many options from using which you can simply do first option is that let's select instead of circle let's select the circle first uh, square first so let's have uh, this type of rectangle and and with the help of uh, this tool selection tool let me select this and circle and from the Pathfinder, we discussed in our last session that simply uh, click on minus front. So obvious, this is something we have recently created. So that will be terminated. That will be truncated. That will be deleted from this. So the half portion is almost there. Now, uh, it is all up to your choice, your requirement. If you are interested to uh, eliminate the remaining quarter, this quarter also, so choice is yours. Other way could be that uh, you can simply go and fill this form into this color, maybe from this to this color. And uh, let's right click and from this arrange send to back. So that is how the half portion will be visible. The remaining portion will not be visible. And then you have a choice to make it a little bit more bigger in such a shape. For example, like this, or it is all up to your choice if, if that's okay and that suits you. Then the next thing goes on. Let's uh, we have to copy this one and instead of uh, uh, a rotation, let let me have a copy this first from this edit copy and from edit to paste in front. Now we have two copies available up there, so let's bring it like this way and let's bring it down. That is another way. The other way could be so simply right click, select, uh, arrange, uh, transform. So from the transform, let's select the reflect. That will also do the same work. But in this case, you have to make a copy of this, right? So now this is something which you have uh, created, but I just want this to be uh, bring a little bit inside something like this, or maybe you have to make it a little bit shorter like this. Okay, that is your choice. What exactly that suits you? That is how you can simply do or take the half into this shape. Right. So from here onward, what we do is that we we are trying to create multiple other shapes. For example, the remaining this part okay and then that have to come a little bit up and that's how we will proceed for example let me select this from this edit to copy sorry select this one and from this edit to copy and edit to paste in front so that is quite obvious now it has been pasted in front and right click from this arrange let's bring it to front right so as we know we know we need this this is the space we need, and this is something we just don't need. So as I told you, one way is this, that I either select this way, uh, or let me select from this, these two shapes, and with the help of Shape Builder tool, let's eliminate this part. So that is how the, uh, the, that, the remaining part will be deleted, and that is one another way of creating that type of shape now we have to fill in this shape into a little bit darker version so using uh, either double click this or this or maybe eyedropper tool simply select this color so that is how we will be selecting this color then we need another copy that will come a little bit more towards the downside and maybe you can do something you can make it a little bit more wider or your choice what exactly is the type of shape you are interested in and further what you can do is that you can make it a little bit more bigger and very easily that's the type of things you can simply create so let me select this first let me have a copy using alt key and that is how you can make a little bit more darker version towards the bottom side 
and let me change this color to a little bit darker from here to maybe something like this and then we have to bring this part to front so something like this i'm giving you multiple choices how can you create how do you like this to be created and uh, what exactly is your choice what exactly is the color scheme which you are interested in maybe in this way what i've done is that that's the separate part in this case that is the separate part in this case that is the separate part now you want this to be in the same color simply go and select uh, this color and that is how it will be in the same color and probably that's the shadow that will be under it and then Choice is yours. If you're not interested in doing this type of thing, probably let's go to the a little bit more darkish option. So here is another option. So using these type of things, you can very simply create that type of things. Now there is another shadow that you have to create. So very simple, let's, let me draw something uh, rectangle first. And that rectangle will be somewhere here. Okay, and now we have to put in some dark color into this and keeping this in mind that the color, the shadow of this color would be the darker portion of this color. Let me have a little bit more darkish and here you can see. Let me zoom in a little bit just, <coughs> sorry, just to show you that how can you eliminate now this part. So select this part with the help of shift key, let's select this part. Now we have selected two things with the shape builder tool. Let me select alt key and here is the eliminated part that will that is FIPO. So simply let's zoom out a little bit and here is another option of that type of shadow that you have created. Then after this, very simple, you can create these type of three circles you want as an eye. So simply let me create first circle here and that will be white, correct? So let me select this white, and then we need another copy from this edit to copy and edit to paste in front, exactly uh, above to this the white. Now we have two copies in the white shape available. So let me select from here to black, okay? And with the help of uh, these corners, let me have a little bit uh, down, so now we have two copies. One is white, one is black. Now we want another copy, another copy of this black exactly in front of this copy from this edit paste in front. And we want this to be in white shape. So let me again redo this. Let me have a little bit more down. Now we have, sorry, let me select all of them three circles that we bring that somewhere here. Okay, now this, the center part has to be a little bit more, more small. So let me select this with the help of this tool. Let me bring it down and then choice is yours. You want this to be somewhere uh, here or where do you want this to be as a circle that should be available. Now, in fact, I was trying to create a complete family where is where whereas in fact one is um the uh, male part the second is the female part and third is the uh, uh the family uh, the kid part and something like this so using these type of techniques using these type of basic illustrations you can create multiple choices multiple things now uh, the only nose that has been left as you can see right now this is how, how did we create this? Very simple. We have created a circle first. Let me select somewhere here, circle. And then we divided the circle into four parts. So using either scissor. So uh, with the help of scissor, you can uh, eliminate, divide this into four parts. That is one way. The sim more simpler way is let's select the rectangle. And uh, let me zoom in first and let me show you Mm, with the help of rectangle, let me draw this and select both with the pathfinder uh, shape mode. 
uh, minus one. And that is how the remaining half portion that has been done. And let's select this one more time from this center part. Let me select this. Now we have another two parts and minus one. So that's it. This is something, this is the part we are interested in somewhere here, but uh, that has to be in this shape rather. Yeah. So that is how we very simple, in a very simple way, we can create these type of graphic elements, right? Choice is yours. If that is a, uh, a junior part of this family, so either make this a little bit more smaller, no, not that small. In fact, we want this to be a little bit more smaller than the this one. So that's okay. Uh, so let me select, let me zoom out and now we are all set. Right. So I hope it is quite understandable to you now and you can, uh, with the help of these shapes, basic tips and tricks, basic tools, let's say you can create your graphic elements and you can sell these type of graphics arts to international market. Thank you very much, dear students, for joining me in today's session.